Yes, sir. Get my chicken ready for the week. The weekend. So this is how it goes. Thursday's meals, Friday's meals, Saturday, Sunday. Staying ahead of the game because the diet is seven days a week. So yeah, man, um, sticking with the plan. Got a lot of crazy shit going on this week. So like I tell my clients, man, staying ahead with your diet, that's what's going to keep you in a good place. So uh, getting everything ready, finishing off this chicken. Don't worry, I'm gonna show y'all. It's a trick to the trade. <coughs> Ooh, be careful. Alright. First batch of chicken done. We're doing some Szechuan chicken. So you don't want to put too much of this because it's got, you know, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of carbs and calories in there. So what you do is you cook your chicken and right as it's about to finish, you drop a little bit on there and you want to try to cook some of that sugar and some of them carbs out of the sauce. So you just get the flavor. You don't get all the calories and shit like that. All right, we are looking good. Meals for today are ready. Now we're going to move on to my meals for tomorrow. Now, I know it's a shortage of paper towels in the world, but the secret to keep cooking quick while having to reheat your skillet is to not wash your pan, keep rinsing it out. Get you a paper towel in between batches of chicken. That way I don't have to keep reheating the entire pan. All I gotta do is do this here. Wipe it out real quick, set it to the side because I got one more batch. Restart my fire. All right. Bet. So I got that from my grandma. I've been cooking for a while, man. But I got that from my grandma. Got to make sure my guac for tomorrow is ready. It's all about staying ahead. The less opportunities you can give day-to-day uh, -day life to sneak in and take your program from you and fuck up your diet the more you can keep rolling you know what I'm saying I told you I'm gonna show y'all you ain't gotta eat no boring ass food this is how I've been eating the whole time to lose 130 pounds motherfuckers we out here lying oh you can't eat sodium you can't eat carbs you have to water fast you have to intermittent fast you have to do this, you have to drink bullshit casein protein before bed in order to build muscle. All of that shit is myths I done busted over the head. Alright, guac for tomorrow is ready. I'm rolling. Next batch of chicken in. Hopefully, I still got some left over that I don't have to cook. Mm -hmm. I'm start with a little bit of that. Don't let nobody lie to you tell me you can't eat sodium and lose weight. That's bullshit, man. That's a lie. Mm hmm. Sodium is not a factor to weight loss. Calories are. Carbs are not a factor to weight loss. Calories are. I tell you, man, I've been lying to y'all. And I done busted the myths over here losing all the weight. This is how I've been eating the whole time. It was 130 pounds.
So you see how I got every piece of chicken, make sure all of them together, but they all lying flat. There you go. I told y'all, I ain't gonna have no big ass production crew in my kitchen. I'm gonna just come in here with my cell phone, post for y'all, do what I gotta do, go on about my business. I'm not gonna have a big ass tripod and a lighting and all that shit. All that shit is obnoxious, that shit, that shit is annoying, man. Nigga walk around the gym with a big ass tripod and a camera. Fresh haircut, he barely wanna work out. Cause he, got, he gotta look good in between tapes. I ain't got time for all that shit. See how rough I'm looking right now? Hold up. See how rough I'm looking? Y'all gonna see me like this a lot cause I don't be giving a damn. You ain't gotta look at my videos. So before you put the sauce on, because you ain't going to be able to see it once you do it, you want to break one of these boys open, the biggest one, make sure it's white, I bet. Good, okay, cool. You don't want to break too many of them because they'll start to dry out. So this is what we got left for the last batch of chicken. Got my pan cleaned out. We're finna roll with it. So yeah, man. Um, my baby boy done messed around and thought he was a damn uh, free runner. And fucked around and jumped off the, fell off the couch and broke his arm. So that's why today we got to scramble. We got to make shit happen. Um, he going to get a cast today. So what I'm gonna do is um, I'm not working out this morning. What, what I am going to do is half of my cardio. That's why it's the best thing to have cardio at home. I'm going to do half of my cardio before we go to this hospital to get his cast. And I'll do my weights and the other half of my cardio to save time. I'll do it later after I get him back home and he get, he takes his nap and everything like that. So we're going to keep rolling. All right. Last batch of chicken for the win. Say it with me, y'all. That fire. <laughs> All right. So this is the part that sucks. Out of five pounds of chicken for Friday, no, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, that's how much I got left. And I can't eat it, but everything else is ready to ride. So this is how it goes. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Now we're going to pack these up today because we got to ride. See that little bit of chicken that's left? That's two meals for my baby. So that's going to be his breakfast. Sweet potatoes, chicken breast, and avocado. And that's going to be his lunch. That'd be good. All right. Cover everything up so I go to his cardio. It ain't cooled off yet, so you don't want to throw this shit in the refrigerator. Even left a note. On Sunday when I prep this, I don't have enough vegetables for this meal. I got to buy veggies. This is for tomorrow. Saturday. Sunday. So when I load this in the refrigerator, I load it backwards into the refrigerator. I'm going to load it in Sunday. Saturday and Friday. And now the meals for today. This is my post cardio meal. This is what I'm gonna eat before we leave to head on the road. This meal is coming with me. Cause I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know if my wife wanna give me an uppercut and be like, yeah, we finna go to a store when I ain't got my food with me and we 40 miles from the house. So I'm bringing everything with me for the day, just in case. two meals. Remember, I already had breakfast. I'm about to eat meal two after cardio. So, got 
got my shakes ready ahead of time. Remember, you could you don't have to do that nasty ass shaker cup bullshit. I hate that shit. You never you can't even pay me to just put powder and water in a cup and shake it and drink it. That shit is disgusting. Food is ready. Today is Thursday, so Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday's meals are ready. Because the diet is seven days a week. If you're trying to lose weight, it's not Monday through Friday. If you can defeat, and I say it like that for a reason, because it is the enemy, it is the devil, it is the Michael Myers, the Freddy Krueger. It is the horror of losing weight. If you could survive, if you could defeat the weekend, you can stick to your, you can, you can lose weight. A lot of people think, oh, I, I did good. I stuck to my meal plan, Monday through Friday. I'm gonna treat myself this weekend. You ain't did shit. All your body knows is a steady flow of calories. And consistency. So let's just say 2,000 calories. You're supposed to have 2,000 calories every day. That 2,000 calories is set up for your body to lose weight. Friday, boom. You say, okay, well, I did good all week, stuck to my diet. I'm gonna treat myself because I deserve it. I earned it. You go have 5,000 calories on Saturday, and you have 3,500 on Sunday. Them spikes in calories, that's surplus, that's over. Way over. So in all actuality, you just void it Monday through Friday by fucking it up on the weekends. That's why I say, if you wanna lose weight, for real, seven days a week. When I first started at 3.30, I ain't give a fuck if it was, it could be fucking comets falling out the sky. Flaming comets. I looked out the window like, damn, that's crazy. Sticking to my meal plan. My last jobs, I've been through six work schedules and two different jobs because those jobs kept getting in the way of my progress. I left that shit. Eventually we went full time as a trainer, but you know what I'm saying? Even at my last jobs, hey, I need my schedule changed. Why? Fucking worry about why I got a baby. Oh, okay. I had to use the same excuses as the sheep at the job to execute like a wolf. Oh, yeah, my baby, man. I can't. I can't work that schedule. I did have to have a consistent schedule with the babysitter. So once I got the babysitter set up, okay. Tell the job, boom. I need this schedule because this is the babysitter schedule. Go, boom. Now everything was in line. My income was straight, home was set up, you know what I'm saying? Had somebody watch the baby, and I exercised and I planned my meals around that. Cause I could find another job. As long as my wife and my baby good, there's nothing that can stop me, fuck that. I don't care about no job, I don't care about no accident, I don't care about no car breaking down, no traffic jam, nothing. No parties, no hanging out. You got to say fuck all that shit. Nothing could stop you. Unless you lose a limb. Something tragic happens. God forbid. Don't let that shit stop you, man. Your friends, fuck them. Your family, fuck them. Hell, even if you got to say your significant other. Because nobody going to get that weight off you but you. Ain't nobody finna say, here, let me help you. Take your hand and grab this barbell. And go work out, grab these dumbbells, grab this resistance band. Here, let me help you. Take your hand, give me your hand. Um, eat this food. Ain't nobody gonna do that shit for you. And they don't give a damn. They'll inconvenience you so bad. And they're gonna guilt trip you at the same time. Damn dog. You don't went and got healthy on the nigga. You can't you can't kick it no more. Nah man, I'm trying to eat right, man. I gotta get this weight up off me. I'm 330 pounds, man. Doctor said if you know I don't take care of this, you know, he's 
said he gonna write me a, a whole ninja scroll full of prescriptions. Goddamn dog, you still gonna be ugly. You might as well drink one with your boy. That's how that, that's how that shit happened. Just like in high school, peer pressure. You gotta be up here. I'm good. If you fuck with me, I'm gonna still keep coming around. You keep acting stupid like this, you ain't gonna see me no more. Cause I done told you what I'm doing. Now you're gonna respect my lifestyle change or get the fuck on. Surely but surely. By the time I lost 130 pounds, I only had 35 contacts in my phone. You think I give a damn? Hey man. Hey, hey bro. I noticed you lost a lot of weight, man. I was wondering if you could help me with a meal plan. Oh, shit. Okay. All right. He was motherfucker. Okay. Okay. Give me $100. But what, man? I'm your boy. Matter of fact, give me $125 for a workout plan. Because I told your ass. That's how I go, man. Now, everybody may not be trying to be a trainer or a coach like me, but still. You want to be healthy. You got to be that determined. You know how many men I've met? They got this sad look in their eyes. They looking like this. Like a fucking cage lion that been defanged. Yeah, man. I wanted to get in shape like you and lose this weight, but, you know, I was single. I had a 28 inch waist. You know what I'm saying? I'm 6'1, 28 inch waist, in shape. My money was right. I got married, man. You know how that goes. Hell no, nah, I don't know how that shit go. <laughs> Hell no. Nah, because I ain't. I'd rather be single and shredded than, than be overweight. 300 pounds. My wife sticking my finger to check my blood sugar every morning. Me taking insulin and blood pressure medicine. You got me fucked up. I don't want to lose my marriage, but if I had to choose my marriage over my health, well, baby. What you want me to do? We can split custody, but I ain't finna be unhealthy. I'm gonna be the fittest ex you ever had in your life. Cause that's how determined I was to get that weight off of me. Because my wife couldn't go and she can't eat the meals for me. She can't go to the gym for me. I had to do it for myself. If you love me, you're gonna stay with me. You loved me when I was fat, wearing a 50 pants. Let me do what I gotta do to get in that size 28 pants. Well, I take that back, 28 in the waist. Cause right now I'm at a 34 in the waist, but I can't wear, I gotta wear a 36 cause the skinny clowns that wear a 34, they ain't got no legs. So I can't get the legs to fit. So I gotta wear either joggers or uh, I gotta get a size 30, 38, uh, six jeans. Well, yeah, that's it, man. So got my lunch bag packed. Meals is ready for the weekend on Thursday. So I'm good. I did this, a light bulb went off because Monday is Labor Day. I'm like, oh shit. I look into the future like Raven. If I do what I gotta do now, the baby out of daycare on Monday, the wife is off on Monday. If I do what I gotta do now, meal prep on Sunday, Monday morning, when I go to the gym at five in the morning, I could stay at the gym until as long as I want. And I could sleep as long as I want. Oh my goodness. Cause my, the main thing I struggle with on my fitness journey is sleep. So I could sleep in, wake up, eat my meals. Oh my goodness. Well, so I got on the ball. I ain't sit around and say, well, hell fuck that shit. I'm on. Make more meals when I get around to it. Nope. Because I got tired. My neck already tight. I gotta go see the chiropractor. Out of my out of my man. Fuck that. Stay in bed. Meals ain't ready. Fuck around and grab some bullshit. So you gotta stay ahead of everything, man. But I'm wrapping up this cardio. I got about 20 more minutes, and I'm gone. I'll holler at y'all.